Prince William yesterday took control of warring brother Harry's old Army Air Corps unit. Wills, 41, went for a spin in an Apache chopper after King Charles appointed him Colonel-in-Chief. The prince flew an identical chopper to one that Brother Harry flew during the Afghanistan War. The king also discussed losing the sense of taste during his cancer treatment while speaking to an army veteran who has had chemo for testicular cancer. The ceremony at the Army Aviation Center, Hampshire, was a rare joint engagement for the monarch and his elder son. Charles arrived by helicopter and went on a walkabout to greet Union Jack waving pupils from nearby Middle Wallop School. Inside the regiment's base the king chatted to soldiers including Aaron Mapplebeck who touchingly spoke about his own cancer fight. The king, who became the unit's colonel-in-chief 32 years ago, then walked to the control tower for the formal handing over of the title to William. He told service personnel, I did just want to say what a great joy it is to be with you. But also, it's tinged with great sadness after 32 years of knowing you all. The king spoke of his, immense admiration, for the unit's operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. He added, I do hope you'll go from strength to strength in the future with the Prince of Wales as your new colonel-in-chief. The great thing is he's a very good pilot indeed, so that's encouraging. There was no mention in his speech of Wayward Harry, who he did not have time to meet in London last week. The King and Harry had flown together in an Apache at the same base in March 2011. If Harry and wife Meghan had not stepped down as working royals then the ceremonial appointment would likely have been his. Yesterday the California-based couple ended their faux royal tour of Nigeria. William, a trained military pilot, sat in the Apache cockpit and was briefed on its capabilities before a fellow airman flew the aircraft. The prince missed active service due to the direct line of succession. But he flew Sea Kings with the Navy's search and rescue team, and while working with East Anglia Air Ambulance. William also discussed the unit's work with its Colonel Commandant, LT General Sir Nicholas Borden. And the king unveiled a plaque marking the arrival of the first Apache AMK-1 at the Army Flying Museum at Middle Wallop.